So Abode have released their brand new redesigned app from the ground up. Still in beta at the moment. You can sign up for the beta on their website. Uh, it's the 5.0 app release. And very excited about this um, if it's going to do what I hope uh, it's going to do. And that is um, as a, a long term, uh, long time Abode user, one of the challenges um, that we've had is obviously the speed of the app and also what a lot of users may not realize is the amount of battery drain uh, that the location services use in the background. In fact, um, we have two iPhones in the house and for one of them, the uh, highest consumption of battery comes from the Abode app location services. And on my iPhone XR, it's the second highest um, battery consumption um, app on the phone. So kind of hoping, uh, haven't confirmed with the Bode yet, but that the 5.0 app um, will be, you know, re-engineered from the ground up in, in regards to location and geolocation services. So let's just have a quick look through the beta. Um, fundamentally, the 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 um, UI is just much, much nicer. And there's a couple of great little features that they've added, which I think are quite exciting. Um, the first thing to note as I open this is obviously the speed at which it opens. Um, I think any uh, long-term Abode user will agree that uh, that is faster than usual. Now, I have literally got the beta version on here and haven't really edited it much. So a lot of what you're gonna see um, is, uh, you know, fresh out of the box. Um, at the top, you've got very easy to use quick selection services. Um, so very quickly you can open the app and change from standby to home to away modes very quickly. Uh, the next tip obviously is that you can customize the dashboard. So we've got the, the welcome. We've got a quick action that I've just thrown in there very quickly and I'll show you uh, how you can add those. I think that's a nice touch. For a long time I wondered if they would even continue with the quick actions. But they have done that and I think that's um, brilliant now that we have like uh, more of a home kit style interface. And as you know, the, the uh, Abode IOTA and the Abode um, security system Gen 2 are now home kit compatible and Gen 1 will is currently going through licensing. So all of the, the very first purchases of the Abode security kit will be getting um, home kit as well. And so these buttons, in my opinion, the, the, uh, the UI and the UX on this is, is kind of got a home kit feel. Video cameras, um, I've purposefully left any footage off here. Um, you don't need to see <laughs> my videos, it's not that interesting. Uh, but you could obviously have a really nice um, uh, screen there showing all your videos. Now I will just go straight into how to edit the dashboard. Um, if you click on edit at the bottom there, you can add a video camera stream or you can add a quick action. So if I click on quick action, I've only got two quick actions. One of them is obviously to turn on my garage light for 10 minutes. Um, that's actually a quick action that I use in conjunction with Alexa routines, um, which is if there's motion at my ring camera, then turn on the garage light for 10 minutes. Um, so that's specifically why I have that, just because ring isn't natively integrated. Um, and then I also have just a quick action that I've created called, you know, lounge on, which basically means turn some stuff on in the lounge. In this case, it's the, uh, the light. So I'm going to add that now just by clicking the plus. And now I have two quick actions uh, on my dashboard. I'll click save on there. And now you can see here we've got um, quick actions here. My understanding, obviously, if I add additional, that we'll be able to swipe left and right quite quickly. So I can click that, and that's going to turn on my lounge light, uh, which it's done. So that's the dashboard. Um, so quick actions, I think, is going to make a big difference because you can create... Again, the, one of the reasons I love Abode so much is the Q automation engine and now with quick actions, you can create almost a, an unlimited number of variations and, and uh, you know, scenarios and things that you want to do that you can custom and tailor to your specific needs. And then you can stack those. Oh, look at that. It's motion at my front door. Then you can stack those um, in such a way that you can do, you know, a lot of things together. So let's keep moving through. I'll start with the top left menu. This is quite similar to um, other stuff that's happened um, that we've got. Uh, so this has, you know, how many accounts. This is where you'd add all your devices, 
internet connectivity, integration system settings. I don't think there's a lot here that's new, but it's just um, presented in a nicer way. Down the bottom here, we'll go into the uh, timeline. Uh, the timeline also looks quite similar to um, previous. You know, it's got a nice... Um, it's just a little bit nicer to look at, but the icons and fundamentally the information's the same. You know, I just hit that quick thing, which turned quick action, which turned the lounge light on. Um, you know, fish fish tank lights turned on, things like that. The next one is devices, and I actually thought this might be interesting for some abode users. And some of you are wondering how long do the batteries last in my abode security system or the devices attached to it. Well, if I click on that, you can see that it says my front door motion camera is low on battery. The front door motion camera um, that I have, I have triggering quite a lot. Um, and so that's the second time I've changed the batteries in years. Um, but I've not actually had to change the batteries uh, in going on four years for any other of the door window sensors, the fobs, you know, anything. So if you're wondering, you know, what a battery DIY home security system is like in terms of the longevity of its batteries, I can tell you it's it's pretty good. So then we've got a, a bunch of switches, some of which are connected, some of which aren't. Here my garage light and outside garage light aren't, the status of that isn't shown correctly. Um, but uh, you know, my two uh, LifeX bulbs are shown correctly. And then the rest of this is much the same. Quite excited that the sensors are now showing in Celsius. Um, it kind of leads me to hope that Abode are looking at doing another internationalized um, hub. They launched originally with um, hubs for Australasia, and then they went back to hubs uh, that were just uh, focusing on the US while well, they really got a foothold there. Now that the um, temperature and light sensor is showing Celsius, it indicates to me that perhaps they are now looking at, at doing the, uh, the hubs outside the, uh, the US. Uh, so that's that. Now the other thing that I'll show you is if you've got um, uh, RGB bulbs, uh, LifeX view or uh, Hue or anything, um, there is also a new way to now control the um, this all of your um, your Lux, your Hue saturation brightness. So you know brightness is around the outside now. Hue, oh, let's grab that. Hue is here. And if I go up and down, you've got saturation. So that is, you know, I didn't mind the old thing system, the way it used to work, but this is quite nice, definitely. And at the top, you can control your temperature. So, you know, 2500, which is considered to be typical daylight. Uh, and then, uh, or is it 55,000? Maybe it's 55,000 that's daylight. Yeah. Sorry, got that wrong. Anyway, so there's temperature, there's color. Going back to devices, up the top here you can switch to cameras, specifically. And now going down the bottom again, I'll click on the Q automations. Really smart addition here, runners quick action is just so easily available. You can look at that automation and then you can just run it as a quick uh, action. Uh, and then obviously, you've got your quick actions at the top. Um, the addition of, you know, uh, automations is quite similar. So if we have a look at the, let's pick something mildly interesting, um, fish tank light on, if I edit that, um, you know, the view there is quite similar again. You can see when this trigger happens, run this action only if this condition is met. I have no conditions. Turn the fish tank light on, leave it on for eight hours. Yay fishies. Uh, so I'll cancel out of that. So that's all very similar. Alarms, I have none. At the top right, you've got this quick quick switcher too that you can um, quickly switch on the alarm into standby home and away modes. Um, and that, I think, is, is really fundamentally it. I think it's uh, a really welcome update. Um, I think the speed of it already is far more impressive. But hopefully that's helpful for those of you that are Bode fans like I am. Just a little sneak preview into the uh, the beta of the uh, Abode 5.0 app and what it's going to be like uh, once it comes out. There might be a, a few other features that I'm missing. Um, the fact that I haven't integrated it with uh, HomeKit, etc. 
Um, but yeah, so far impressed and uh, looking forward to where they take it next.